Welcome back to my channel. Hi everyone, it's Lisa. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. I've got a couple of unboxings today. I got a couple of items that came in over uh, the weekend or last week and the week before that I wanted to just kind of give initial thoughts and impressions. And so let's just dive right in. Now I have already opened up the boxes for each of these so we don't have to deal with that but let me move one these to the side and the first one is from the stationary selection box that is done by mitts of my life mitts she was getting rid of some items in her shop and matter of fact i think she's also doing um, I should say she's giving away, she's discounting items in her shop. I think she's trying to purge some of the, her inventory out. Um, I'm letting you guys have a stop to look at this to get the um, website address and information. Um, you should subscribe and support her. She's pretty good at what she does and she's always helpful. Got a couple of candies from Japan. And it looks like this might be some ephemera. Oh, it is really nice okay this is great this will be good for journaling put that in one of my journals so let's put that away and let's get into what I what I got here put that to the side so put the pouch to the side I did order some of this Soshi paper a6 slim size and I got an A5 washi notebook. I've never utilized this paper before, but I think um, the latter part of this 2021, I may start to do some art journaling um, as a journal form versus writing stuff out. Oh, wow, this is cool. And it also comes with writing guides in the back. I like how they tuck into the book. So lined grid, uh, and then there's horizontal. Let me see if I can pull this out. I've never utilized this brand before and I just really wanted to try this paper. There we go. And then there's horizontal lines, if you wanna do it that way. So that's really cool. I really actually like that. Put that in there. And I'm assuming that the A6 size is also similar. This is really smooth, almost like vellum-like paper. I don't think I'm gonna be able to give it justice, but there is a slight, slight texture, but overall very smooth paper. And I actually like the fact that it's got a cover on it. So there's that one. And then again, the A6 size. I do need to get an A5 journal cover. I'm just in a little bit of angst and sticker shock over <laughs> the cost of the covers, either um, through Chick Sparrow or through um, Rowena from, uh, yeah, this one also. There's a little bit of stick inside of these to make sure that they stay in place and don't fall out. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. So again, lined, horizontal, and then smaller space. So these are fantastic. Looking forward to using these. Put those to the side. And the piece de resistance for me is going to be this. I like this little stamp that she has on here. I'm gonna have to take that and craft that out. I've always wanted something from Superior Labor Company and I got this little pouch from her so that I can take this out. So that's that. It's a nice mustard color. So this will be a great addition for hacking around and taking with me on urban sketching adventures in the Metro DC area. So I got that pouch. Okay, so that is that. Looking forward to utilizing all of those materials. Put that to the side. Okay. And the piece de resistance for me is a pen, pen eider um, pen. I've never ordered an Italian fountain pen. This is my first one. 
their boxing is substantial. I'm really excited about this. I've never had one of these before, and I've got another one coming. So this is a really nice presentation box. Let me just zoom you down here. So um, it's almost like a little writing desk toolkit. Opens up like this, and voila, there is the pen. So you can almost see yourself kind of pulling this out. Oh my goodness, and this doesn't stay because I think it's on a hinge, but get this little card. La Grande Belleza. Belleza. Looks like this is the, zoom back out, warranty information and the history of the pen in multiple languages. Instructions, which I will have to read. Let's see here. This is looking like it's a piston fountain pen. I've never used one of these pens, so I'm going to definitely have to. And here's the company information. Really nice presentation. I've never seen anything quite like this before. So there's that. Comes in a nice little card case. Oh, what's this? Oh, they give you like a letter set. Very cool. So it looks like you get one, two, three, six letter samples so that you can start writing letters with your new wonderful fountain pen. Okay, let me see. This is the Full Metal Jacket Stilio in Ash Gray. And I think I bought this one, I want to say I got this one from Goulet. So I just think that it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the clip. Flat finial with pinyiter in there. Still flat end finial. Ah, okay, so this pen, see how that does that? It's magnetic, so it snaps in there and you see it might twist. It's very satisfying, actually, I did this. And see how it twists, it turns it a little bit when it comes in. It's really cool. Um, I got a fine point nib on mine. This is just a really nice looking fountain pen. Absolutely gorgeous. I like the grip section because it has a nice distinct stop for your hands or fingers to stop on it. And this is definitely looking like a fine point nib. Really nice in hand. Definitely can post it. Although, even posting it, it has that kind of clicking uh, metal sound. It makes it a little back end heavy, but not horrible. I would probably just not post it. I'm kind of getting used to not posting some of my pens. Really nice. Feels really good in hand too. Okay, let's see about this filling mechanism that I'm going to have to figure out. So let's just put this in here like so. Just give me a second. I just want to read about filling this piston up really quick the instructions. Okay. So it looks like the whole entire body turns for the piston fill. That's kind of weird. Let me see here. Oh, nope, I lied. This unscrews. Oh, there you go. Got a nice plastic uh, converter that says pinyiter on it. And I've got a little bit of flushing to do. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and flush this out and uh, we'll do a writing sample. Okay, I'm back. Pin has been flushed. So I can spare you that part of the whole ordeal. Got the nib unit. Just driving off here to the side on a paper towel. Um, I am going to go ahead and use Jacques Carbon's uh, Kyanite uh, Nepal ink. I've got a little sample of this and I don't like to really use the whole piston filling mechanism. I just use 
the syringe, I find it to be a lot easier. Oops. And I only have a little bit of this in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up as much as possible. This is one of the ink samples that was gifted to me last year for my birthday. And so I'm glad that it looks like it definitely has less than a one milliliter, a little over one milliliter fill. Let's get that on here like so. Actually, let's push that up a little bit. And I got a little bit of ink on my hands, like every good fountain pen person. And I'm gonna just put this down like this for, turn that on, like that. I'm gonna definitely get this tube out. Put the sample away. Put that to the side. And I've got Goulet's Tomo River paper over here. So let's put this over here. And I think that um, it's going to take a minute for that ink to kind of get into the feed. So I'll just move the box over here. That's probably one of the fanciest boxes I've ever gotten for a fountain pen at all. Let's see how long this is going to take for the ink to kind of come down. Because it might take just a second. I've got a little bit of water here to the side. Let's see if I can get that to go that way. ink into the feed. Let's see if I can get that going. There we go. Okay. So this is, let's see here. There we go. Um, sorry, this is a fine nib, and I think this is definitely steel. Uh, and the ink is bring it down here. It's so far away. The ink is Jacques. Oops, 98. There's the ink. This pen writes beautifully. I, I don't feel like I need to put any micro mesh on it, just straight out of the box. It's just, it's a really wonderful writing experience. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. Up. Ah, this is fantastic. It's having no problem keeping up whatsoever. This ink is kind of on the, ah, not so, not so wet, not so dry. Actually pleasantly juicy. Just the right amount of juice on that ink. absolutely a joy to write with. I can definitely say two thumbs up. Um, like I said, I think I got this pen 
on Goulet. I will definitely put down uh, where I got it at. On sale, I got this on Goulet, so it was a really good deal. They were having specials over um, the Memorial Day weekend here in the States. Absolutely gorgeous pen. Highly recommend it. I absolutely think it's just absolutely beautiful. And just this ash gray blue, I just love this kind of color. So once again, this is the Pen Yider uh, Full Metal Jacket Pen in Ash Gray. Absolutely beautiful. There's the band. There's the clip. And it's got the right amount of spring on it. I mean, it's not so stiff. I mean, it's easy to get stuff on and off. Really ornate, beautifully done finial. Magnetic closure. There's the end cap. Not quite flat. Uh, there's This one's a little bit on the bottom finial, a little bit uh, cone shaped, but this one on the top is more flat with the um, Pinyiter inscription or Sigmia in it. Once again, it has a magnetic closure. As you can hear, that snaps in and it kind of turns the pen a little bit to click into place. Beautiful pen, two thumbs up. So if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will try to respond as soon as possible. I stated it before uh, Memorial Day in the States, a little bit of a busy month in the month of June, but I will try to get back to everybody relatively as fast as possible. Um, I've got a lot of family stuff kind of going on right now. But thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the um, video. Please leave your comments below. And until next time, see you later. Bye. <laughs>